Learning to back up your email can save you a lot of grief down the road when you want to retrieve an email that you might not have backed up already. If you're using Outlook Express in Windows 95 on up, Outlook Express saves each one of your folders, your inbox, your outbox, etc., in a separate file. To locate where that file is, click Tools in Outlook Express, click Options. Under Options, go to Maintenance right up here. Under Maintenance, you can click and it shows you the Store folder. So that long path right there is where the information that you want to back up is stored. In Windows Mail and Windows Vista, you click Tools, Options, click the Advanced tab, and then under the Advanced tab, you'll see a little button that says Maintenance. And then under Maintenance, you'll find the Store folder. My Computer. Once My Computer is open, find your hard drive or your C drive Most for most of us. Double click it. Find your documents and settings. Double click it. Find your username and double click it. This is your Windows username. Once you get this far, in order to make sure we can find the data, you need to click Tools, Folder Options, and then View, and make sure that the Show Hidden Files and Folders is checked so that you can find the files that we're trying to back up. Once we're into C colon, Documents and Settings, Rick, or your username, we're going to scroll down to Local Settings. Under Local Settings, you're going to double-click Application Data. After we're in Application Data, we're going to scroll down and look for Identities. It's a folder that Outlook Express creates when you have an Outlook Express account. Once you're in here, you're going to see this archaic looking folder name with lots of numbers and letters. If you have more than one user on your Outlook Express and your computer, you have to figure out which one is yours. And the only way to do that is by going to the store folder I showed you earlier. But at this point, you could back up this entire folder, or you could go in two more levels, double click on that folder, double click Microsoft, then there's Outlook Express, and then I can back up this entire folder to CD, to a flash drive, whatever works best for you, and then you'll have all of your email. To locate that folder that we saw for Windows Vista slash Windows Mail, go to Start, and then your computer icon, which is My Computer, double click your C drive, double click the Users folder, under the Users folder, find your username for Windows. As we did with Windows XP, make sure you click Tools, Folder Options, and under the View tab, make sure Show Hidden Files and Folders is selected. Then you'll be able to see this folder called App Data. Double click App Data, and under App Data, double click Local, and under Local, find your Microsoft folder, double click it. And under the Microsoft folder, finally, you'll find the Windows Mail folder. After you double-click Windows Mail, you'll find the folder marked Local Folders, and there's where you will find the actual storage of your email. Now, if you only want part of your email, which I recommend getting at all, then in your Outlook Express, what you can do is create a new folder. I click Local Folders here, right-click on it, and click New Folder. I can create a folder called Saved Email and drag any files that I want to save into this saved mail. When I open up my Outlook Express folder, I can actually see all of the individual folders as they're being saved, and I should find one that says Saved Email. There it is. And then I can back that particular file up. But just so you know where these files are stored, you can now back them up, all of the folders, by backing up the entire Outlook Express folder, or you can back up any of the individual files from Outlook Express.